Thanks guys, I'm Steven Human. Now I am just outside of Blanding, Utah, just south of the new Bears Ears National Monument. Now there's a lot of trails out here, a lot of dirt roads, and I decided to do something a little bit different for our travel adventure today. I picked one at random just to see what I could find, see what kind of beauty is out here, and I have been incredibly surprised. I think you'll agree with me. Let's hit the trail. Pure exploration is a rare thing in our day and age. So often we have, at the very least, an idea of what we're going to find when we climb on our UTV and set off on a trail. Today, though, was all about discovering the unknown. After taking Highway 95, just south of Blanding, we came upon a dirt road to our right, and we just took it. There was nothing about this particular path that excited us one way or another. We just decided to give it a try. It was called South Cottonwood Road. And while at first there was nothing seemingly special about it, we quickly discovered what so many travelers before us already knew. There's no such thing as a boring trail in San Juan County, Utah. Even though you're on a dirt road, it's still pretty amazing, the, the stuff that you can see. Um, you know, there's ruins, there's red rocks, just the, the whole environment that you can see just from a dirt road is pretty amazing. And then you've got all the little branches off that you can go take off and explore. So even though you come down one dirt road, you never have any idea what you, you find when you go down it. It wasn't too hard and it wasn't too like scary. It was actually just really beautiful just to like take things like not so hard and just watch all the trees and all the nature. Being able to barely even go that far and to find a trail is just like, oh, let's go explore. <laughs> So, and you can just pick like one random one and still have fun. After a few miles, it became clear why this was named Cottonwood Road. We descended a wash and the entire valley was full of cottonwood trees and not just a handful, hundreds and hundreds of them. Once we got up on a ridge a half hour later, we could still look down and easily see the massive grove even from such a great distance. And that wasn't all you'll see out here on South Cottonwood. The world opens up and you gaze out on what a thousand years from now will be immense arches right alongside colored stone every bit as impressive as the most famous trails in the state. Petrified sand dunes ripple and roll while crimson outcroppings plead with you to stop your ATV and spend some time just wandering around. One of the great things about this area is the history you can find just out of the corner of your eye. Sometimes you'll stumble on something truly ancient, but even when it's a remnant of things a bit more contemporary, it's interesting to explore what remains and try to imagine what it was and why it was built. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this was an Anasazi. If you can tell me what this was, I'd be, I'd be very appreciative. As we wandered around and pondered what we were looking at, it suddenly became less about discovering the past as it did appreciating the present. For Keith Southwick and his teenage daughter Sadie, the day of exploration, the wandering, even the beauty, were all merely the backdrop to an opportunity. Today is their chance to grow closer and appreciate a relationship that has evolved from the tea parties of childhood to the dramatic highs and lows of adolescence. It's nice, it's bonding time. Most of the time your cell phone doesn't work out here and so they don't have you know access to that and so really it's just talking, spending time together, pointing things out, exploring, just spending time with them, something that you don't get at home because of all the other distractions that you have usually. I know me and my dad have like a really fun time doing it. And so I think that other families, like if they came out, like they would like have some really good bonding too. And that bonding won't be over a movie or homework problems, but the shared adventure of a trip through some of the most spectacular lands in the world. South Cottonwood was definitely a surprise for all of us. And best of all, there were plenty of side trails that branched off in every direction, adding more options to your trip if you're looking for a bit of a challenge or just the chance to see something new. Pure exploration may not be as common as it once was, but out here it's a whole lot easier to find than most people would realize. Plus, it's all here on the doorstep of Blanding, where you have access to hotels and restaurants that act as your entry point into an open land of hidden wonders. I actually really like this small town. It takes away from all the huge city buildings that you get from Salt Lake and New York. And so it's kind of like, oh, this is a neat small town. It's not too big, it's not too small. And they, they have interesting things. From Blanding, we're probably 
10 miles. I mean, we didn't come, come that far. There's so many places that you could go. You could probably spend a couple of weeks down here and not see the same thing twice and just enjoy enjoy your time not far from staying at a hotel or wherever or camping or whatever you like to do. If there was ever a land made for exploration, it is here in San Juan County. Now, if you want to find where we are, it's really simple. You just head south out of Blanding on Highway 191 for about five miles and you'll come on the Highway 95 turnoff. Take that for about 15 minutes and you'll come on the South Cottonwood sign on the right take that road to the north and that's where we were the entire day. We rode up there, saw all these beautiful things. There's plenty of camping and as we showed, lots of offshoot trails. So bring your quads out here, bring your trailers and just have a great time with your family. Well, I'm Stephen Human for At Your Leisure. We need to take a commercial break, but when we come back, we'll have this week's product review.